what women do not fear. We do not fear the word we. We are not afraid of generalizations. We know good and well that we are unique. We do not fear hot water. Like tea bags, we just grow stronger the longer we are seeped. We do not fear being drenched by sentiment and all her messy ken. After all, we have already embodied the stream. We are flowers, flowers. We evolved to dissolve into currents. We do not fear the torrents. We are willing to be swept away. Endlessly cyclic, symbolic and dreamlit, unafraid to bleed. We polish stars for a living with each glimmer at our children. We rush to usher in generations between our patient, well-planted feet. We are the handles of the basket. Give us life's wicker and we will help you grasp it. We contain multiplicities. We stay busy tending to the tiniest of things, blind to bribes of pride. We do not fear being unseen. It is our right to be moon-like, dimmed or strengthened, silver slivered, full or crescent. The sun might be the one considered constant, but we remain unchanged, forever full, regardless of how he slants his light upon us. We are flawless, unfazed by phases complete. We are burning bushes, unafraid of torches, for the sake of spurring on some unsuspecting prophet in the right direction, regardless of reason, for the sake of our children, we will gladly burst to flame. We will bear the burn upon our bark that God may better speak through our sparks to right wrongs. We'll go along like tumbleweed across the prayerful plain to dream of something better to bear the bitter, to burn for something bigger. We are not afraid of these. And look, no matter the singe of the centuries, no matter the abuses, the rebukes and disparities, our leaves remain downright literary, shameless, changeless, fearless, and green. The only question is, is the world courageous enough to bear the message our phoenix screams? to be responsive to the content of her constant unsinged leaves and set each thing caught in bondage free. We are like tea bags seeped in hot water, growing stronger. So please be responsive as a prophet ought to be. Do not flee from the heat of things. Be fearless. Set someone free.